Hey, welcome back to Aaron Reacts, and we're back continuing our mini series of Our Day Will Come from Angelina Jordan. And now we've got two additional shows at the age of 11. We last did the Sandefjord, um, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And I think we're about a week later, maybe exactly a week later, I think it is, uh, July 19th, 2017. And then we've got July 21st, so a couple days apart. Uh, for these now I looked at these with no audio and I'm pretty sure I've actually done reaction to both of these concerts in another song in one of my other mini series I can't even recall what but um, I'm pretty sure I have done that um, I could certainly remember um, this you know this bass player here um, and and doing that but uh, nevertheless let's jump right to it uh, continuation of our day will come this is only a week after the other one so I wouldn't expect a lot of differences here um, we'll point out any subtleties if I notice them, but, you know, I'm not going to sit there and pause and try to compare or anything to that effect. It's just going to be more or less a live reaction with commentary. So let's get to it. Okay, I'll stop there. Um, so I was literally thinking to myself, um, the sound and the balance of this is so much better than what we've heard previously um, on this song until then it kind of got worse for a minute. I don't know what happened there. Um, so we'll look at that. But I, I'm hearing the uh, backing vocals much clearer here and they sound fantastic and it adds so much to this. Um, in general, this is, this is a great performance um, and she sounds... Um, you know, she sounds fantastic. I don't really notice much difference. Um, I, for whatever reason, I felt like the last one had slightly more energy with her. Um, uh, but nevertheless, she sounded great until the audio changed at some point here. Let me find it. Yeah. Okay. So listen to the beginning of this and, and listen to how, um, just loud her voice is. And then when she switches and she looks sideways and she's still in her mic. And so I, I feel like they made an adjustment, try, probably trying to correct something else, but she comes in so much quieter. Very clear. And now here it's softer. Yeah. Harder to hear now. So yeah, I think they upped, increased the level of the backing vocals because you can hear them there and you don't hear her as clear. Um, and it's a shame too, because she, it sounded like she had a really strong, beautiful vibrato there. I mean, that's like the signature vibrato. Yeah. Oh, wow. Listen to how she finished that come. Um, while I've got it, um, well, let's, let's listen to that and then I'll pause it. Listen to how she says, come here. Just boom in your face. Mm. So, um, uh, and just a moment ago, you see the bass player kind of humming up the notes. I don't know if he had a new idea, but it looked like he commented to somebody off to the side there, but you see all these people walking back and forth and, um, it doesn't seem like, um, and there's talking in the background. So I'm wondering if the placement of this is, you know, right 
um, towards, I mean, it, there's, it could be anything. It, it could be literally anywhere in the set list. It could be the opening number where people aren't fully established. It could be towards the end where people are just needing a bathroom break or something, or it could be just coming back from like, you know, this is the beginning of set two. I don't have those details and I'm not going to go look for them now. Um, uh, but I will say that, you know, I, for whatever reason, in many reactions would often forget just how much um, she performs and and how many different songs in a particular contest she might do. And when I react, I'm reacting to one of many, many, many she's doing. And it's just, you know, another song there. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. And I was reminded of that being there live, seeing her in L.A., right? Um, but yeah, uh, let's continue. thinking about um i really don't have a lot to comment on here i was thinking about i wonder has she done much other kind of reggae because it says the song is kind of a reggae feel right um i wonder if she's done other reggae songs has she done any bob marley or anything i'm really curious um, okay, I am, uh, apologies, this may not be my best reaction video. Uh, I, I, you know, I do these in little windows I have, guys, right? It's not easy. I have life. And so in this particular case, I only have a few more minutes and I want to get this other one in. So let's jump right to it. So, you know, this is often the case where she may have done something, any artist may have done something, but I didn't really pay much attention to it, listen to different things every time, right? It is a reaction. So maybe I just didn't notice it as much there, but it feels to me like she was swinging a little bit more on that. Yeah, I really feel like she is. Beautiful.
it almost fell off a little bit at the very end. I mean, it wasn't bad, um, but it just, it, I don't know. It, I, I didn't quite like that ending a little bit. Um, but this sound is so much better. Um, I think this was the concert that I commented on before where there was the Miles quote from the trumpet player there. Um, these three in the background, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And her sound is much clearer through here. Overall, the better, the, the sound quality is better. Um, you know, I don't know if it, it it's the, it's probably everything, the camera and everything. It's a much clearer picture focused on her without the distractions. The sound's better. Um, so she's coming through stronger and she just feels more comfortable to me. So it could very well be those things messing with, you know, my perception of it. But I definitely prefer this one over any of the others we've heard. Um, she sounds fantastic. There's certainly nothing to criticize here. I even feel like some of the upper register runs and things she's doing even are a little bit stronger here. Um, she seems to be enjoying it more. Um, I love that girl on the right, just really grooving at the uh, one of the breaks, really getting into it. Um, overall, this is just much better for me. Um, and, and it does just continue to show progression. Look, even a, even two days apart, um, a lot could change in terms of rehearsals. A lot could change in terms of mindset. A lot can change in terms of sound setup and the actual acoustics and everything. Um, I don't know that I heard a huge difference between the two here in terms of choices of what she did. I mean, really very few, if any. I mean, there probably were some small, subtle things that, uh, and honestly, honestly, I don't know that I picked up on many. Um, but you just overall, I think it was a better performance. I think the group was slightly tighter, or maybe, maybe not tighter, but just sounded better. Uh, again, the acoustics and the audio engineering and so forth. So, um, all right, well, we'll leave it at that. Um, yeah, this is uh, this may not be my best uh, reaction mini series. Uh, and apologies if not, but hopefully it's still enjoyable. Um, I appreciate you. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. And uh, if you're an angel, um, consider joining my membership. There's a link in the description. Thank you much, and we will see you in the next one.